Do you want to be a bit of a Tarzan or a Jane and want to live in the jungle, but you want a house that builds itself into the landscape really easily, but isn't too big? Don't you go anywhere. I've got a really great idea for you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next video from me, Avamance, in my building different biomes, houses that I've never done before, freestyle and possibly messing it up series. Look at the number of cats that we've got lurking around in trees behind me. That's bonkers, loads of them. Anyway, we're gonna do a jungle biome house. Now, I've never built in a jungle biome before, not really. Um, so doing a not necessarily a starter house, but a small house, a bit like I did with the desert house um, not that long ago. I'm going to do something in a jungle biome just to see how that comes out. So, well, I mean, I guess we really just need to crack straight on with it because I'm not sure how we're going to do it. It's completely freestyle. I'm making it up as we go along and hopefully it'll end up all right. Now, remember, this is a freestyle build, so I don't actually know exactly what it is I'm going to be using, but I think I'm probably going to be using something like this. So some spruce and some jungle logs, some dark oak, because the dark oak works really well against the jungle. Some spruce, various bits and pieces, maybe a little bit of oak, some different doors. I quite like the acacia and the spruce door for this one, I think. Some oak fences and maybe some dark oak fences. I'm going to have a play with jungle buttons, I think. Uh, some trap doors, a bit of green carpet. Why not? Everyone loves a bit of carpet. Some glowstone to light stuff up. Um, the obvious internal stuff that you would need, some water, some decoratives, and that kind of thing. So the first thing you've got to do really is find yourself a suitable area. You need a bit of space, but in a jungle, space is a bit of a premium. So we are on the edge of the jungle here, and we've got a little bit of sort of an open space, but because it's going to be not a tree house exactly, but a jungle house that is kind of melted into the surrounding area we might need to get rid of that tree that might just get in the way um then maybe that's big enough i don't know this isn't going to be a big house this isn't the plan we're doing a, a relatively small jungle house and i am absolutely making this up as i go along so i'm not entirely sure how it's going to look just yet but what we do have here we can get rid of some of these vines because they're in the way um what we do have here is the potential to do something just slightly off of the ground. So if we look at this sort of level here, I reckon that is the one for us to start to model out a bit of a house. So if I bring out around, kind of just around the tree itself here, um, and then come out. Now I want it to be mostly coming in this direction. So I don't want it too big at the back, but I want it big enough that you can physically pass around it, of course. So I reckon that is enough at the back, but because of course, get rid of that, because of course we are gonna make it circular, well, circular-ish at least, um, we need to think about how that's going to look. So if I come out there, that's going to come out like that. That's there. That then brings that like that, doesn't it? And that gives us sort of an offset. That's more of an oval than a circle in it. So we need to come more in this direction like that. That's still not quite right. Oh, no, that's not quite right. Um, so let's bring it out and around a little bit more. Get rid of that sideways, sideways. Nearly there, and then sideways on here. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got the beginnings of the structure. I don't want to come out any further backwards, but I do want to come out a little bit further forward. So let's build that out a little bit more in that direction. means coming out in this direction a little bit more not so as it goes too wonky that is properly wonky donkey that one in it right so let's come around that's got one two three that's got one two three four so let's take that out 
and then it just needs to come down here which is there there we go I got there in the end so we got four right so I reckon we're probably just about right there now I'm not going to worry about getting up to it at the minute although we are obviously going to need some kind of entrance um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because I'm going to put the entrance here but what we want at the beginning or at the front is a platform now I'm using here you can see I'm using dark oak because I think it it just works really quite nicely in a jungle setting I don't want to come out too far but I do want to come out enough so I'm just going to come out that far there and this is where we're going to go up so what should we use should we try let's use spruce because spruce works quite well against dark oak often and uh, we come under there like that across the front under across the front and under and just keep doing that and you get a nice three wide step it's a nice way of being able to get a step that looks like it's nicely structured but actually takes very little in the way of blocks now we're obviously going to need to build up the ground a little bit now aren't we so let's just shove some ground in here just to make it so as we've got enough space doesn't matter that it's not um, all even or doesn't matter that we've got some places we've got double height coming off that's just something we can worry about later but right now what we want is somewhere for the steps to to land so if i just dig myself a trench there they come down like that fill that in and the steps can then come down like that let's lose this tree completely because it is properly in the way nothing wrong with a little bit of terraforming when you're building so there we go so that's the entrance so you can see the idea what we're going to do here let's just shove a little bit more dirt along there to give us that entrance so we're going to have that there there we go right so we've got the entrance that comes up to give us a basically what's essentially um, a platform with our door here so what I'm going to use I'm going to use a spruce door and this is just going to give me the position of the door so we're going to have the door right there you can see on this block which allows us to put I'm going to use jungle wood because obviously we're in the jungle but that doesn't mean that we're going to be using jungle wood on everything I'm then going to want to get some we might be mixing and matching our woods a little too much here but we're going to get some fencing coming off not on the platform but to the edge of the platform because it gives that kind of like it's been built up feel if we whereas if you put it on here look it just looks it doesn't look quite right for me so we're going to just going to give it that sort of look and that also means that we can then put one on the side of that step there um, which gives us a, a more encased feeling when we go up like that okay I'm happy so there is the the entrance area we will do something more with it but what we now got to do is we've got to somehow make this into a house uh, that sort of clings on to the tree without looking like it's out of place so that's what we're going to start to do next now my first observation here is that these blocks are just a little bit too blocky which I know doesn't make a lot of sense but what we want is we want to be able to have a less harsh edge along this block now I'm not very used I'm going to be honest I'm not very used to building these jungles as you know but um, as this being my first real attempt at a jungle house so I'm just with a bit of trial and error I'm just trying to take the harshness off of this platform ideally doing it in the right direction coming around this way and there there we go we're doing it so one this has made the platform obviously slightly larger which is good because it gives us more room but two I think finishes off that platform if we look at it from underneath quite nicely can you see what I mean there look we've got just a, a less harsh edge and I'm much much keener on that definitely and then we're going to get I think 
to start with spruce planks we may change this up because I'm not entirely certain it's going to work but in the same way as you build up um, a, a drawing by using you know really rough circles and things like that in pencil we're going to do the same thing here kind of using some blocks now this is an irregular shaped house this is by design people we are not um, making this house a perfect circle that's not the plan we're doing this because we want a relatively irregular shaped house that looks just a little bit fancy so that's the idea I just want to check that I've got all of that underneath is all correct yes it is right so we're just going to build up these blocks and then we can decide where we put some windows in and then those windows will lead us to take into a different level of structure etc etc get rid of the vines that keep getting in the way as we go along so from behind it's going to look kind of maybe a little more rounded and from the front it will look a little more square so it makes it just it's an interesting shaped build i do hate vines when you're building they do get in the way so let's do another third level for now that will start to meet up with other trees so we'll need to deal with those in a minute um, and then we can think about where do we want our light to come in why have I done that I left that open like that right so we have now got the beginnings of where we can start to put in some light now I want to use I reckon some grey stained glass because light grey stained glass will work quite nicely I think in this sort of build so let's get some relatively small I think windows there and there it doesn't matter that's over the um, edge of the fence I think that works quite well and then from the inside I think we're gonna have we need a nice view obviously so that's going to go out there on this side we're going to have the same and then we could just have a small window or do we No, actually we're not going to have a window at the back we're going to leave that as it is windows are going to be too high and i think we can start yeah we so we can put a bit of a structure around those now oh there's a pussycat hello pussycat are you my friend no because i ain't got any fish now what we're gonna have to do now i think is we're gonna have to bring the top of that windows how's it gonna look if i do it with um so let's can't do it with that you fall first let's just i'll tell you what i'm gonna do let's just get the structure going again these are not gonna leave let, leave these like this this is not how it's gonna be ending up it's not just gonna be a square box of spruce wood that would be rubbish but what we are going to do is wherever there's leaves we'll remove them we're just going to see what we've got in terms of the size and shape okay now that's starting to give me a little bit of an idea of what it could indeed look like i want to get some i think i want spruce stairs yep oh there's lots more cats spruce they said baby cat Oh, it's a little kitten. Hello, little mate. Anyway, don't get distracted, man, for goodness sake. Right, we're going to go for some spruce steps just to detail around here. Um, I'm not going to do it on the bottom of that one. I know that does mean it looks a little bit uneven, but that's okay. I'm not uncomfortable with it. Come along there like that. And then upside down there and there. And then the same on the other side. And that starts to give us... A little bit more shape to the building because at the minute it's just obviously extremely blocky and extremely blocky is no good so that is that and that works quite well this is incredibly square around here so we're going to need to do something to make that a little bit less unfancy what I am going to do now is I'm going to come underneath and we're going to put some some structure on the underneath um, if that's there like that we want it to come along that one. Oh, the cat's in the way get out of the way little pussy cat there you go uh, that's going to come along this way here like that 
no that's the wrong place entirely that's going to come there actually isn't it get rid of that there and there there we can lose both of those and then that meets that there I think yes it does so that's the leg structure we've not finished it yet but that is the leg structure we're going to get some um, I think I need some dark oak slab let's get that in there for now lose that um, dark oak slab is gonna bring out some width there because I'm gonna do something in the corners there and in these corners as well I wonder if I should come out here as well I wonder what that would look like that's quite nice actually I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have that out like that that can go there won't do it on that side obviously because the steps are in the way come around there get these things out of the way completely there that sort of connects the house up a little bit to the rest of the rest of the landscape actually yes I like that that works we're gonna need to do something with it because right now they are spawnable blocks and the last thing we want is a load of um, nasties being around us there but certainly that does work so now what I wonder whether or not we should do is have something that gives us kind of a another level uh, within this uh, building which will allow us to look out and basically see our landscape without in out of the way without um, God, these I tell you let's get rid of these higher up uh, without encroaching onto the inside of the house at all because I think that might work quite nicely okay so let's get ourselves a second level and before we do that we need to build this up just one more high bring this around like that got that there like that that's not right okay that comes there all the way around that's perfect right so now what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a second level and I think we're going to go with yeah we'll keep it for now but we are going to need to change this up um, because I think that's going to look like too much of the same color and that's not going to work for me going to need to lose this tree completely let's get rid of that perfect there we go um, that's going to go there there like that there like that that's not worked that needs to go that's better that comes out there that comes out there we come all the way around in the back there so we're building out say it's a it's another level but we're not necessarily going to make it come out you know massively far because it would look unbalanced so we want to just get sufficiently around so as we give ourselves a bit of room in order to make like a, a platform and that platform is going to be done using um, spruce slabs and then we just need to decide where do we want uh, to have a bit of a kind of a veranda -y type thing and I reckon out the front is the obvious place so let's come out just two I think that's enough that then overlaps that area you know what no we're gonna do it three because then we can connect it up otherwise the gravity is going to insult me come along there like that we can then get that fence gate that can come up and come up there we'll worry about doing something else with that in a minute that there that there that there and then that can go like that 
that can go like that and that feels like it's supported and I'm much happier with that okay that's good we're then going to have this is where the fence does create a veranda along the edge like that um, on that sort of depth and I think we're starting to get there so what I'm going to try and do now is build in a little bit of contrast. Now this isn't going to stay all like that, I don't think. Uh, well, the wood might stay like that, but I need to detail it up so as it doesn't look like it stays like that. But the top bit here, I think we need to get some contrast in. I'm going to use some jungle wood too high, like this, to give us just a little bit of a contrast. I don't know how this is going to look yet, so we need to take a step back in a minute as to how it's going to look get these out of the way because it might not quite work but have a little bit of vision with me people and maybe maybe it will okay you know what i'm not uncomfortable with that i'm not uncomfortable with that at all that looks quite nice and then we need to get ourselves our dark oak slabs again and we're going to start to build up what will eventually be the roof that needs to allow this tree to come out the middle and that is probably the most complicated part so what I'm gonna do first off I'm just gonna put slabs like this there and there that's gonna be like that that can get out of the way. And there. So this is, you can see what I'm start, just starting to build the roof up so as it is above that too high level. Have I come out sideways there? Yes, I have. Um, it's above that too high level that the door is going to need because we're going to need to put a, a set of doors on here. So in fact, let's do that now so as I don't forget. We're going to stick with, I see I don't like the jungle door, so we're going to stick with the acacia door, I think. Um, I'm going to put an acacia door, no, let's do it from the inside, don't break your own rules. So the acacia door is going to go there and there as an upper door, with that being the lower door, I'm happy that. So then we need to get, I think we need to maintain this really, don't we? So let's come along like that. There. That can come out across the top of the doors as well, but does still need to come out that far. Otherwise it's not in keeping with the rest of it. Okay, so that is the beginnings of that part. Now we need to build this roof up. Now this is just a series of gradually bringing yourself in uh, along the edge. So build a second level around here you're going to get the tree get in the way but that's all right this tree we want to get in the way and the reason we want it to get in the way is because we're trying to incorporate this build into the tree itself so whilst again you could call this a tree house I'm not really referring to it as a tree house it's more a jungle house and then bring this up and around like this so I'm just going to carry on bringing this roof in and in and in like this one thing at a time you're allowed to remove vines because vines get in the way but don't remove any of the actual tree because where we meet the tree basically we're just going to allow the tree to be part of the structure so then we're going to come along pop that like that and we're going to kind of fancy this up a little bit more. That comes, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So let's replace that because that wasn't what we planned to do. There we go. That comes around like that. So it's an odd shaped roof, I grant you, because the building itself is deliberately not regularly shaped to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to come around this way. And look, this is where we start to incorporate the actual tree itself into the build. You see, we don't remove that, we leave it. And we come through there like that. So that, when we're down in the building, 
we will do something with this we've actually got the visual of the tree up there and in fact the tree is how we're going to get ourselves to this level eventually so then come up along here we can use the tree itself to give us the the next level because that's not there sorry there that's where we're going to be so that is in fact part right get that there in there across there like that make sure you place the blocks correctly coming around that already let's get rid of the lead just so we can see what we're doing that comes around there that comes up that comes up that comes up and then that goes there and then we're very nearly done on this roof now aren't we and we can come one block higher which means we're going there that's perfect and there and there coming around this side putting it there and there so we should have a completed roof structure that the tree physically grows out of and i really like the way that that becomes part of the structure there that's really quite nice um he says that's not quite so nice that bit there is it right so what we're gonna have to do there is build this structure here out so as that looks like it's more incorporated that's much better i'm much happier there we will do a little bit more work on this roof but right now i think that is okay so that gives us a rough outline of what the upper structure is going to be so now we need to get ourselves our windows again so let's get some more light gray stained glass and we're going to do um, let's do on here one two three we're going to do next to the door just one there and one there and then similarly around the back here we'll do one two three three do it right like that and then this time we're also going to put one in the back as well quite a wide one four wide because that then allows for us to have um, Kind of visuals from every side so next thing we've got to do is we've got to come inside and start to oh i've not done that right have i let's get rid of those doors and do it properly come in door door that's better right so now yeah what we're going to make this floor out of this second story i think we're going to make it out of the spruce again i don't like the color of jungle wood too much once it's been turned into planks so I tend not to use it very often. So let's just get ourselves a nice wide platform here. This isn't going to span the entirety of this um, upper area. We're going to leave it kind of open, I think, uh, just kind of too wide, leaving plenty of space for that tree to stay a tree. like that but the ability to come around and walk with relative safety around the entirety of the width and then we need to decide which way we're coming up now I've left a bigger gap here and I wonder if that might be our route up so I've lobbed a few torches down just obviously if you're in survival this is going to be dark and you don't want mobs to spawn um if you kind of wander 25 blocks away to take a look at what's going on mobs could easily spawn inside it but what i want to do is i want to get steps coming in from there now because that is a kind of a, a upper end block i need to find a way of getting the steps to attach to it properly so i'm going to just change that there like that i'm going to do an upside down step there and then i'm going to replace that like that which allows the step to go up and then going to put a normal step up there upside down there normal step there upside there and then whoop, upside uh, right way round there i think nope that's not right that there and right way around there that's better that's better and then we can just get an upside down one in like that so that gives us access to the upper floor i'm just going to lob a few torches for exactly the same reason 
here as well. These are not permanent torches, they're just there to put some light in. You can see we've kept the, the, the nice kind of area that we've got around this trunk. I don't want the trunk to get too affected. I think the green there actually adds quite a lot to it. So we've got access to the top and the bottom floor. So now we need to think about some detail. And I like to detail the outside before I detail the inside. Really, it's much more satisfying. So let's continue with some dark wood uh, because if we've got the dark wood, that kind of gets in keeping with the uh, with the roof and the layer at the bottom. So I'm just going to stick an upside down step underneath those, and then. there and also there now that serves a couple of purposes one it stops those being spawnable of course um, because that's only one high and that's not big enough for anything to spawn apart from a baby zombie theoretically and allows us to maybe think about what detail we're going to do on those upside down steps there um, and now we need to think about what we're going to do here now this jungle wood frame here doesn't look quite right so we need to do something there that's going to allow us to I don't know just just make it look as if it's in keeping with the rest so let's how does that look if I do that what if I put if I come there I wonder whether or not that needs to be like that that needs to be like that. So that's a start. That jungle wood there probably needs to be not jungle wood. Oh, for goodness sake, that there needs to be not jungle wood. And I reckon that's a glowstone. It's going to give light both internally and externally, which is quite nice. And we're going to just shove a trapdoor here. How does a jungle trapdoor look? Um, okay, actually, let's come inside. Let's do the same jungle trap door. I think that actually works okay. We're then also going to put some trap doors to the sides of these windows, but I don't think in this instance a jungle trap door is right. Or do I? Let's just have a look. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Let's just check that. No, no, I'm not a fan, not a fan of that at all. So let's change the trap door to an oak trap door. Like that. That I think is gonna give us a better effect when I am finished. So let's just put the oak trap door there like that. And let's do that on all of these windows as well. Not the upper ones, just the lower ones for now. I think the upper ones might have something different going on. And again, try and fight your way through the jungle to get to your other side. There and there. Get rid of that there. Oh, wrong side there and there. Okay, so we're starting to get that structure. We now want to get some dark, um, dark fence. So let's use dark oak fence here. Let's get rid of the torch, they're easy to find again. And we're gonna just put some dark oak fence along here like that. We'll do the same. Whoop, we've got to fight ourselves around this tree. This is a massive tree um, to be able to get in here. stopping us going in there me I'm the one that's stopping us going in there that's better um, just going to remove that because that doesn't quite work for the positioning does it so let's come around here that's going to get that that's going to get fenced as is that consider this a bit of pruning of the trees coming around so you can see we've got a bit of structure coming in there which is quite nice it's all very very woody 
and a little bit bland. So we do need to do something here to make it more in keeping with, um, well, more, more in keeping with it being a bit more interesting looking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get, uh, let's try oak. This may not work, so I may need to change. So I'm just gonna put oak there and oak there. And I'm gonna get some leaves and just leaf it up to see whether or not that gives us a nicer feel. I think it does actually. I'm not gonna do anything on that side. I'm gonna come around here. We're gonna do the same in the corner here, if we can reach. Let's put that there. Put that in there, put that in there. Also adds to kind of the flow of the building to, to make sure that it kind of flows into the jungle. These leafy options, I think, work quite well to be able to achieve that. I'm then also gonna put either side of these upper windows. The same thing. Not in the cornery bits there. There and there. And I reckon I'm gonna leave that for now there. So it's starting to come together. So we just need to get a little bit more detail. It's still not there. It's still too blocky, especially around the back. So we need to kind of incorporate something a little more interesting. And I wonder whether or not we should do something a little more underneath here as well. Now, so I've decided just cause you live in the jungle doesn't mean you don't want to eat stuff. So we are gonna put under here, I'm just gonna dig that hole out there like that. And I'm gonna whop a bucket of water in it. I'm going to pop, in fact, I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to put another bucket of water in there. I'm going to close that off. Now what we've got here under the tree are two buckets of water. They're still there, look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just remove these bottom bits of vine and I'm going to get irrigated farmland all the way around here. And I think what we can then do is create ourselves a little bit of a, a farm area like that. Now I wonder whether or not we should remove these vines completely from underneath here because they're just gonna get in the way, I think. They're gonna stop us being able to grow. So I'm gonna get rid of the vines because that also means I can do something else. So we've got decent amount of farmland going there like that uh, between all of the um, all of the fence the fence posts all of the legs and then we can also lob ourselves just a little bit of a cocoa bean farm underneath as well on all four sides might as well and they will develop cocoa beans develop really really fast um, look, those ones have already gone. And that could be a little cocoa bean farm at the same time. So let's get rid of that. And then I can start to plant some seeds in here. Which is great. I'm gonna need to light this up because obviously this is not nearly light enough. Um, but ultimately we've got ourselves quite a nice little farm there. So I'm gonna get some light in here. I'm probably just gonna use torches, I think for this instance because I think torches is gonna be enough. So let's put torches on the inner side of each of the legs, all on the same level. And that gives plenty lit up area for those crops to be able to grow. So that's, um, yeah, so that's our kind of food area. We don't need to worry about eating now. We are all sorted. Coming up inside here, We've got a nice internal space that we're about to transform and we are nearly there, I think. So I've done a bit of detailing on the inside, um, just sort of placing stuff down really. And this is really doing it however you fancy, but we've got a little enchanting area there. We've got our anvil and our brewing stations. We've got half slab, not half slabs. We've got slabs. If they were half slabs, they would be half the size. They're slabs and they're top slabs, which means what we could put little pots on them just for decoration some pictures, lighting, 
and then upstairs we've got more storage a bed and a crafting table just there i'm going to put a crafting table downstairs i think as well and then outside we have got needs to be lit up a little bit more i'll work that out in a moment but we've got basically just some plant pots just to give it a little of extra color what i'm going to do now is i'm trying something that's a little bit different to what i've done before but i'm going to put some buttons on here i think because it adds it gives like a studded effect without actually um encroaching too much on the build i think i quite like it i've not tried this before but as a detail i think it could quite work yeah now it's working quite nicely actually i'm going to do it all the way along here also creates um, an area that means you, we can't have these blocks um, spawned on which is obviously a, a positive as well so coming out so that looks all right i'm quite happy with that and what i might do is it going to look and i'm just hmm, that doesn't look quite so good uh, against the the lighter wood it works against the dark but not so much the lighter wood if I was to put a stone button there and there how would that look as well okay for now actually let's let's leave that like that we'll put some stone buttons in and around here to add some extra detail that is completely blank and I'll leave it blank come in here stone button in there stone button in there what I might do just put stone buttons across the top and it looks like it's been pinned so I quite like that we're not going to do anything else on the back of that because I just don't think it's necessary and we're going to come around here and see what other detail might be necessary one jungle house one start kind of a starter jungle house okay some of the stuff that i put inside it isn't necessarily starter but to be honest with you you can build up to that over time but i think it works really well as a house that you can grow into it's got a tiny little footprint it incorporates itself beautifully into the landscape and i think as a freestyle first whack out as a jungle house i think that came out pretty well I'm very very happy if you've enjoyed the video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying it and i'll keep on doing these different biomes type of houses also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye